All right, and welcome to the eighth video. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about Beverly. So I've already made this uh, very simple table here um, for a legged table. And I'm going to turn off to my wireframe. If you can see here, these edges are super, 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 super sharp. And you can cut yourself with it. All right. Um, in real life, even, even very sharp things like knives still have a round edge to them. And so bevelin, what bevelin essentially does is it, it basically rounds off these edges so they're not so sharp. It makes things a lot more believable. Now, I mean, even paper has a thickness to it. I mean, everything in real life actually has some type of roundness to it. There, there really isn't anything that exists that has an edge that's as sharp as the edges that you get in 3D. Um, you got to think, you got to understand that um, the computer is going to make everything perfect and everything exact and when you're working with something like this um, it's very hard to make things it's, it's, fa it's fairly easy to make things that may look very cool looking but it's very difficult to make things that look very realistic because it's the imperfections that make things seem more realistic so <clears throat> that's just something very um, to keep in mind as you work more and more in 3D um, not even just in 3D but in digital period so to round these edges off, we're going to go to the action called bevel. So first I'm going to go ahead and, um, to demonstrate what it does, I'm just going to select one edge, all right, and I'm going to come up to edit mesh, I'm going to go down to bevel. Now I can go to the options, but the same options that it's going to give me in this pop-up window are also going to be in my history, so I'm just going to do bevel. All right, so now I can see what happened to this edge, it's basically split into two, all right, and um, the two options that I have to work with are offset and segments. Now offset, as I increase this, if I select the word and I minimize drag, I can just drag. It, it, sli it um, slides through the numbers on its own. That way, I mean, or you can just type it in. So it's actually making it wider or smaller. Now if I increase my segments, it's going to increase the lines that go in between these two. So that's basically how I get it rounded. Now, if you can see, I've only selected one edge, so it doesn't know what to do with these other edges, so it's giving me these red triangles in here. So in order to bevel the entire circle, the, the entire um, edge that goes around this table, I'm going to have to undo all of this. And if I double click on one edge, it will go all the way as far as it can go um, for that entire ring. Now because these are actually corners, they actually go in different directions. I'm just going to have to shift, double click over here to add that. Shift, double click. When you double click, you're actually selecting the entire ring. It's going to select as much as it can before things change directions. Alright, so I'm actually going to do this all at the same time. Going to do it for the bottom also. All right, and I'm even going to do this for these corners here. Just make sure you you are uh, are selecting the right thing. To add to a selection, I'm gonna you hold down Shift and then click. To take away, you hold down Control and click. All right, so now I can come back up to bevel, and when I bevel it, I can see everything's beveled together nice and evenly. All right, and I can always increase my offset to give it a much more curvy look and increase my segments to round it off more. Alright, and so you get a much more believable looking table. Um, I didn't bevel my legs, but that's essentially what beveling does. Now again, you will get much more geometry, so if you have to edit it, you know, you have a lot more stuff to work with, but um, Usually beveling is done last. It's kind of a um, touch-up thing because once you bevel, I mean, you can still come back in here and extrude, but because you have so much more faces, that's a lot more detail you have to worry about. So um, that's that's basically what beveling is. So in the next lesson, we're going to talk about booleans.